We, the internet-loving people, want super-fast internet where we can download 25 songs in one second. To show you how super-fast that is, here's 25 songs in one second. Pretty sweet, right? DJ, give them another 25. Now, hit them with something they can dance to. You feeling that? Oh, yeah. Super fast internet. AT&T Fiber. Limited availability. Speeds vary. Not guaranteed. Speed and time examples or estimates. Visit att.com slash getfiber for details. In 1995, John Souk founded Deep Elm Records. Today, 20 years later, Deep Elm Records boasts over 220 releases. We celebrate the pioneering spirit and the awesome artists that make up Deep Elm Records each week here on the unofficial Deep Elm Podcast. The unofficial Deep Elm Podcast begins now. Hello everyone, this is Alan Wayne welcoming you to the unofficial Deep Elm Podcast around episode 14 or so. Uh, Lately, in fact for a while, I've been doing shows on The List by Vice Media. However, that has become quite a undertaking. Uh, The List requires me to research the artist's uh, play the music from the from the list in order, and there's 176 artists. And you know, I I do this. I took this challenge on, thinking, hey, I I can do it. Like today, I'll uh, share a little bit of personal information. I went to the laundromat because my wife and I had kind of gotten in arrears with our laundry, and we do have a washer and dryer, but. It just got to the point where it was rather nuts. So what we did was, is we decided to, that, or I decided rather, that I would go to the laundromat and I would get these done, get these, uh, get these clothes done. And I thought, hey, I'll be gone two, three hours max, right? Wrong. I was gone about five hours. That's right. About five, six, uh, close to six hours because I didn't factor in folding and I didn't, And I didn't factor in uh, any of that other stuff. So I was there for a long time. And I have this problem. I look at a project. I go, no problem. I jump into it. And then what do you know? The next thing you know, I am I'm way in too deep. So the the bottom line being that, uh, yeah, I just uh, took on. A little bit too much, bit off a little more than I can chew. I am not abandoning the list. The list is still sitting right here on an easel, ready to go. But I am going to put it down for a little bit or until I figure out a way to take smaller bites. Because I realize that with attention spans the way they are and with time at a premium, I need to kind of hit quick. So there aren't going to be very many people who are going to stream my show for two, three hours listening to everything. So... The shows coming up are going to be a little more quick. They're going to be features on certain artists. And uh, the list will have to sit on the back burner for now. But don't worry. I'll bring it back because I still want to finish it. It's like that steak that you have in front of you that you're like, oh, I, I, I got to finish this steak. You know, I, I, I want it. It's so good. But I don't know if I can. Uh, I don't know if I can finish it uh, in all in one sitting. So I have to kind of look into that. So in any case, I'm glad that you're listening. Uh, if, whether it's on iTunes or SoundCloud, wherever you may be, I'm glad that you're listening, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, so what I'd like to do right now is uh, introduce you to the show title and what the show is going to be about. What's new from Deep Elm Records? Deep Elm Records has been putting out new material on a consistent basis forever. Deep Elm does have quite a roster of bands on its site, www.deepelm.com, but the new music that's been coming out lately has been, and it's always been this way, it's music that moves you, it's music that 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 changes you, and for, let's see... The last uh, the last few releases have been cinematic post rock, uh, generally lights in motion. Inward oceans uh, was released, and uh, there may have been a question whether Deep Elm knows how to rock, and uh, certainly Deep Elm does know how to rock, and I'm going to prove that tonight with uh, three new releases. Now, one of the releases is uh, ambi- ambiatic uh, cinematic music. Of course, it is. It's uh, Christopher Franson with Wide Awake. That music stirs the soul, but the two 
the two pieces of bread in this beautiful sandwich are going to show you that D Bell music, after all these years, can still rock. We're going to start off with Sons of London. This surprising and unexpected single from Sons of London featuring Oscar Goldbranson and Adam Tornblad of cinematic post rock sensations U137, which recently surpassed 10 million plays on Spotify alone, and Moonlit Sailor kicks off 2016 by writing a potent and powerful line between feel good American indie rock and modern sweet. Swedish pop music. As for the ride, trust us. It's one you won't want to end. Beginning with a drum arrangement that will get any stick man reaching for his chops, Russian roulette powers on with crunchy guitar lines and a clever chorus that's nearly impossible not to sing out loud yourself. So that's the track you're going to hear. This is a single EP, or, or it's a single actually, A-side, B-side. I'm not going to play the B-side for you tonight. I'm just going to play the A-side. I love this song. And, uh, you know, it's going to give you something to, to go and check out over at deepelm.com. It's going, you're going to love Russian roulette. And then you're going to want to say, well, what's the B side of that? You know, it's got to be just as good. It is just as good. Go check it out at www.deepelm.com. But for right now, we're going to play some sons of London. There's the sticks we're talking about. I'm Alan Wayne, the unofficial deep Elm podcast kicking in. With Russian Roulette, Sons of London, this is What's New from Deep Elm Records. Bang! 
That is a damn good song from Sons of London, Russian Roulette. That is a. I mean, when I first heard that song, I I pre or I pre ordered the uh, the album at uh, www.deepelm.com. When I first heard that song, I was like, man. I mean, after hearing all of the post rock uh, of. Uh, uh, that that's uh, been released from Deep Elm recently. I was thinking, well, you know, I, I had talks with John and, and I asked him, I said, John, wh wh what are you going to be putting out, you know, coming up? He says, well, I can't tell you that, of course, but it's going to rock. And this rocks. And considering the amalgamation of the two members or the two bands, U-137 and Moonlit Sailor out of Sweden, considering the amalgamation of those two guys, if you listen to Moonlit Sailor and U-137... You would never, ever expect them to do something like this. This is fantastic. And of course, it's on a name your price basis at www.deepelm.com. As for the aforementioned uh, cinematic post-rock genre that, uh, that has been so popular for Deep Elm lately, uh, Christopher Franzen of Lights in Motion just keeps cranking out material. This has to be one of the hardest working men I've ever seen in the music business. He just continues to write, continues to put material out there and it's all him lights and motion is really all him so i i gotta say props to christopher franzen from lights and motion now we all know lights and motion if you guys are deep elm fans like i am you know lights and motion uh, one of the grandest successes uh from what i understand on the deep elm label and this is just me from the outside looking at it, it has to be one of the most grand just amazing successes. I mean, Lights in Motion has blown up. You hear Lights in Motion everywhere, but you don't know it. You hear Lights in Motion in your favorite cinematic trailers, the trailers to your favorite movies. You hear it in commercials. This man, Christopher Franzen, creates music that, that really inspires people and gets people going. And on the uh, page... On DeepElm.com, Christopher Franzen is described as a composer, sonic architect, and multi-instrumentalist, producer, engineer, and mixer. I mean, this guy is a one-man gang, and I have to say that, th that I have such admiration for Christopher Franzen, because I'm... A DIY guy myself. I like to do things on my own. I do. I handle like uh, half a dozen podcasts on my own, and uh, that's because I want things done a certain way. And I have not found like-minded individuals who feel the same way. And I'm not saying that Christopher Franzen is that type of individual, but I'm saying I understand what it's like to put out your own product because you have complete control. It's it's an awesome thing. The write-up on Lights and Motion, uh, a.k.a. Christopher Franzen, uh, the ability to strike emotion on a universal level to touch the heart without words to transport you to otherworldly realms in which anything and everything is possible. This is the power of cinematic post-rock luminary Lights and Motion, a.k.a. Christopher Franzen. The level of emotional intricacy achieved by the band's brain trust, Christopher Franzen, is nothing short of remarkable. And this is not only music you can feel, it's music you can see. Music is truly a work of art when an artist connects with the listener in a way that transcends the music itself. Christopher Franzen, Lights in Motion. We're going to play two from his latest release, Wide Awake, which is available at a name your price basis at www.deepelm.com. And you're going to hear what I mean. First, we're going to play At Last, and then we are going to play Homeward Bound here on the unofficial Deep Elm podcast. This is What's New from Deep Elm Records. Thank you. 
You can tell from those two songs that Christopher Franzen is one talented man. And uh, you can get all of those songs in an album form by naming your price at www.deepelm.com. So finally tonight, we have, or today, or whenever you're listening, <laughs> we have a band that has been gone for a while, but they uh, came back after a multiple-year hiatus. Buenos Aires Rock Fueled Brigade, Late Night Condition, is back on track, and that's the name of their album, indeed, with 10 authentic new songs that unquestionably lean punk. Featuring powerful riffs, driving bass, fast drums, and pleasing vocal melodies on standout tracks including 200, Countdown, and One Good Feeling, the band's second full-length will undoubtedly placate anyone who dares think Deep Elm Records has abandoned its early rock roots. Releases worldwide on May 13th. Now, you guys can pre-order that album by going to the aforementioned www.deepelm.com and naming your price. Well, it, it's, uh, I think it's $1 to reserve, but or it's a minimum $1 to reserve it, but you'll want to pay more. I mean, this is a fantastic record from what I've heard. This is a great record from what I've heard. And I just want to I just want to say that for those of you who thought that Deep Elm was abandoning its early rock roots, as they said, you're, you're wrong. Uh, Deep Elm is actually uh, diversifying their lineup, as it were, and I can't wait to see what they have next. So do check it out. In review, Sons of London opened up with Russian Roulette. Great song. Uh, Christopher Franzen, you just heard there. Uh, two songs, Homeward Bound and... Uh, Homeward Bound and At Last, you heard, and you can get that on the album Wide Awake. And now you're going to hear some Late Night Condition, brand new Late Night Condition, just released uh, on pre-sale this week. This is exclusive, folks. Uh, we're going to hear 200 followed by Countdown. And I'm sure you'll be as ex excited as I am about what's new with Deep Elm Records. This is Alan Wayne. Thank you for listening to the unofficial Deep Elm podcast. And as always, stay independent. You are listening to the unofficial Deep Elm Podcast, available on iTunes, SoundCloud, and recorded live every Saturday night, only on Spreaker.com.
Yow! Here, try my new $4.99 Smoky Jack Burger combo with hickory smoked bacon and smoked cheddar, plus fries and a refreshing drink, all for just $4.99. Jack, I love you. Only at Jack in the Box. Limited time only. Price and participation may vary. Small fries and small drinks.